Hello guys, welcome back to the Beastie Room. Now we were um, in the middle of uh, trying to sort out, as you well know, we are desperately, desperately trying to catch up in the room and we have still got spiders that are in temporary homes, which aren't, you know, they're, they're not too bad for the time being, but we need to get them out. We need to get them onto more, um, more permanent residence, if you like. Now, some of them are going to go into like halfway houses, which are these cereal boxes. Now, you know, we've done a few videos now where we've used these and we've literally, I've gone and bought about 20 odd of these and I'm just about to start moving a lot of stuff out that's in smaller in things uh, and it needs to go into some of these, especially for our future breeding. And then Cameron Lady said, why don't we just film whacking a load of them together, catching a load of spiders up, and moving them in so we have got all of these arboreal spiders down here are all in need of being moved over into these now simply because we haven't got room for these tanks so we need to clear some space in here we've got to get rid of some of these tanks we can obviously house a lot more of these than we can those and the spiders should be fine in these and it's also gonna we're gonna try them out as breeding opportunities as well and see how they get on. So, without further ado, let's crack on because um, we've got a lot of work to do and we're just going to get on with it really. So, you guys can come along for the journey and just see basically what we get up to on a day to day basis, really. Uh, this is one that we've done earlier on. So, this, this one is actually done. So, we can put that to one side. And as, we, as you've seen us before, we've, we've just got these normal boxes. So, what we're going to do is we literally, this is all the. Um, timber that I collect up and um, there's all sorts of stuff here uh, and I just keep it in a big old bucket out in the garden now if you collect it um, like I do I'm always picking it up put it in um, a plastic bin you know like an old wheelie bin or something like that somewhere where it's dry and it will last forever if you leave it out in your garden and let the, the elements get to it, it will eventually just break down and disappear. But this is all hard. This is all really, really good stuff. So what we're going to do now is we are literally, we only want it as wide as this. So we can muck about with it really and see what, see what, we, see what we can get. We don't need much because most of these spiders will in fact actually... Um, they, they will in fact uh, web, web the whole place up and uh, any gaps that are there they will seal them in in no time at all so it doesn't matter really and then all I'm looking for is just a general a general um, size it doesn't doesn't need to be amazing you know This is how we go. You see, you're getting the idea. We can literally just put that in there. The only thing I really want to do is try and leave a little bit of a gap at the top so that we can uh, see what's going on if needs be. There we go, that's another one, that's fine. Put that there. We're just looking for sizes at the moment. these off hopefully we won't need to um, get the saw out all being well so what we got there one two that one there there so we want one two three we got one there so we want two more that's nice and easy wasn't it and what we got what we got what we got as you can see this stuff here is um it lends itself so well. See, that's all right. That one piece will do there. And that piece there will do there. Look at that. So that's that. We've got that's got rid of that. So now we can use them for any other enclosures that we may have. Let's get rid of these bits. Can't remember what I need and what I don't now. Right. So that's that. Right. 
Now another thing that we're going to try out in these new pots is we've got our usual potting compost and I've mixed some of that dreaded cocoa fibre in it as well because I'm just going to experiment. I don't, you know I don't like the cocoa fibre but I'm wondering whether in this type of environment it might well stay hydrated. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give it a go. And this, well, I did. Um, I did buy a big bale of it a long, long time ago, and it's been kicking around. And I'm too tight to throw it away. So it's. We had it at the other place. It's been in storage. It's ended up back in here again. So I thought it's time to, you know, it's time to give it a go. Try it out, see what happens. It might not work. We might end up throwing it all away and then I'll be sitting there going, see, I told you, don't like that damn stuff. But we will see. Leave Odin alone. Right, that's that. So what I'm going to do now, make sure we get them round the right way. As you'll notice with these, these actually have got a grip area here at the front of them, so that you can get your fingers in and pull them off. And you'll notice when we put them on the shelves, we put them on that way. So we put our water bowl in the grip area, and then that way we can pick these up nice and easy. See this one here, Tigran Roselli, she's malted out. Nice fresh malt there. They do seem to do well in these um, in these enclosures. Right, so we've got our stuff here. We've got our bits of wood. We'll put our bits of wood in now. This is all very, 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 very simple stuff. And our spiders will soon make home in these. It won't take them long. As long as they can get in there, they'll be happy. There we go. What remember is our spiders actually like somewhere snug to hide. So putting these bits of bark in here like this will give them just that. All right, so we've now got we've got our tub full of water bottles. So we're now going to use our hot glue gun. Works a whole lot better when it's got glue in it. What have I done with that? Oh no! David, what have you done with the glue? Ah, here we are. There we go. Alright. There we go. What we do now is we literally nice big healthy dollop of boiling hot glue. Stick it down in there like so. And we go straight in with the with the water. That cures the glue. It's nice and nice and easy this is. 
Uh, hopefully you should have all, by now, all got your own hot glue gun. It's a must have. So this is normally just how frantic it is in here and you normally see us and we're all calmly working away. When I'm in here on my own and I can literally just get a move on, this is how, just how we do things. So we get a nice little routine going. And it's surprising just how much we can get done. Well, camera lady, where are you? We are going to have a real close look at the Metallica in a minute because the Metallica is one of the ones that we've got in the enclosures down in the front and um, they're one of the ones that I'm very keen to actually try in these new tubs because all the pokies, they really do like that high humidity. And all the spiders that we're moving over now all really enjoy that humidity. So it's going to be a nice test to see how well they hold up in these, in these enclosures. Hmm? What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know. Oh. That's another one that's going to have to be moved over very, very soon. That one has actually been paired. So it would be nice to move her before she starts settling down to produce a sack. Right. That's the last one done. We are there. So that is all of our tubs ready. So we're going to move these over here. We are going to unplug the hot glue gun. And pardon? It stinks. It stinks. I'm going to get rid of it just in case. We don't want a spider running over it. Right then. Let's see what we've got. First one's first. Right. So what we're going to do is we are literally just going to take these tanks now. And we are going to find out who we got in here. Who we got. Ah, oh, now this is a, this is a normal Avic Avic. Um, so as you can see, it's all rather filthy. And it might be a case of some of them we may we we may be able to um, catch them up. Others we may just be able to transfer straight over. We're just going to have to have a look. All right. She's not long bolted. Oh, she is quite fresh. She is, in fact, very fresh. Right, okay, so this isn't going to be a problem. I will show you her anyway. 
she has only very very recently malted out and she is still really really fresh now she's mobile so we know she's okay in that respect which means that we can still move her she should be fine Here she comes. Here's her malt. As you can see, it has actually dried out a little bit. So she's ready to go. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna pop her in one of these. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna ask her to come up onto the top. Now this is one of those spiders where if needs be, we could hold her, we could pick her up, but there's not really any need to. So what we'll do, we'll get her over there. We can literally just tempt her down. There we go. She is absolutely beautiful. So what we can do now is we can mark her um, her box so that we know that she's malted. And what we will do to make life easy, we will mark it down as malted today. And then that will be good enough but she is looking absolutely wonderful right we'll just get her to pop her legs in it's funny how these lids the first time they go on are really really quite weird yeah Right, so that's that one there. Right, who else we got? Who else we got? Let's have a little bit of spice, shall we? A little bit of spice. Now this is a ruffalata, a piece of theria ruffalata. So we're gonna take a label off and put it on here. And what we'll do, Later on, we will change them and we'll put some nice, neat ones on. Now, with these guys, we. Yeah, oh, she. I, mm. Yeah, she disappeared, didn't she, straight away. Now, these can be rather lively. There she is. She's only a young one. So what we're going to do with her, we're going to get her to walk straight out, okay? So we're literally just going to get her to walk up the side, hopefully straight into this enclosure here. There we go. Whoop, mm -hmm. steady, steady. There you go, now she's found the floor. That's another one. Did you get a nice look at that? Yeah, as we were saying, these lids, once they've been on, they soon settle down and they're okay. But the first time you put them on, it almost feels like they're broken. Now at the moment, Amazon are doing a Black Friday on these which is uh, where we got these from and uh, they're doing a really good deal at the moment. All right, this is a Martinique pink toe. Um, so all relevant information down here has gone. So all we need is 
that, which tells us it's a Martinique pink toe. Now, one of the things you would have realized now, we're having a little bit of a mixture of um, spiders that we're actually putting in these tubs. Now, some of you might be sitting there thinking now, if you wait just two seconds, you won't lose all the light. You might just be thinking, how are we getting all the same environments? And that is because these spiders generally require the same sort of environment. So we're going to move this over here a little bit and we're going to put this here. I'll bring that to you. Is that better? And then what we're going to do, we're just going to ask her to walk up and hopefully you see that beautiful colouring. Now we've got a number of these guys. You see how she doesn't want to leave the web? Isn't she just beautiful? Come on. There we go. See how we're using the paintbrush? Come on over nice and gently. And better. Let me turn this. There we go. And you can see how we use the whole of the paintbrush to maneuver her. And she's in. Lovely jubbly. Another one done. Where do you think you're going? See how they wave around looking for purchase. Absolutely beautiful. That's it. Go down and have a look at your new home. All right. So we just make sure our, make sure our toes are in. There we go. Like I say, once these start actually um, settling in a little bit, they won't be quite so clicky. I'll put them there for now, so they're out of our way. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, that's that one. Now this will hopefully give us a little bit more ground space. All right. Let's have a look. All right. Here's a Metallica. So we've had a soft and gentle. Now we're going to have a, a bright and breezy. All right. Let's see how this one behaves. Always got our catch cup ready. Just in case. Um, yeah, it's very difficult. Right, we'll use this one here. So what we're going to do now then, right, we might just get this one out on the log. Or we might not. No. Nope. She's decided to stay in there. We need some light or something. Oh, now you need light. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to Ask our young lady to come up. Here she comes. 
So always getting them over the ridge, which is the hard part. This is the bit they don't want to commit to. Once we get a couple of legs over, here we go. There you go. Notice we're not getting any threat displays here. Nice and steady. And she is in. How about that? Very good. I think I might. All right, we'll put her there. Actually, we'll put a label on her first, shouldn't we? Not that we're not going to be able to tell what she is, but. Now, interestingly enough, this particular female was born on the 1st of the 3rd, back in 2019. So that makes her four years old. And you'll notice at four years old, as she's beginning to lose some of that vibrant blue color. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So yeah, she's beginning to lose some of that vibrant blue color. Um, now we often, we often see in the literature that these guys have been said to be able to live up until they're, um, you know, sort of like anywhere between 12 and 20 years. So it's quite remarkable, really. Um, but this, these ones, you know, four years old, and she's starting to lose that really vibrant blue color. So it makes you wonder of what their actual true lifespan is. Many of the lifespans that we see uh, on Wikipedia and things like that, I personally, I think most of it is pretty much guesswork. How on earth most of them have worked out that a spider can live for X amount of time is a little bit uh, unusual. Now, we have got spiders that have been in captivity for long periods of time, but most of them haven't been documented for that length of time. Oh. This is a Panama blonde. Um, now she's recently molted as well. Look at that. Nice molt there. So we know we can... Um, she's ready to breed now. We have actually got a male. Look at those lovely fangs. You can see them there. And this is why we don't handle our spiders. You imagine one of them embedded in the end of your finger. That would really upset your evening. So a good reason why we don't attempt to handle them. So what we're gonna do now, this one, I think she's probably gonna sit nice and tight. Yeah, she's gonna hold, hold fire on the piece of wood. So this is another method that we can utilize in order to move our spider around. And as you can see there, she's hunkered down. Now she's in the typical pose at the moment where she doesn't believe that we've seen her. So she's sitting tight. So what we do now, we want her to go into the box. The last thing we want to do is just poke her. So what we do is we use the length of the brush, not the end. So we put that on there, so we hope that she runs straight in. And then what we do is we use the length of the brush. She could go any way, but we're hoping she goes down. So there we go, we've made contact. Now we're just gonna very gradually stroke her. You see how she's turning her look, look. You see? And she's just testing it. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna very, very gradually get her to go down. We don't wanna rush her. 
she feels that foreign plastic. See how she's trying to get under the brush now rather than go on the plastic. Once she feels the plastic properly, she'll be all right. There you go, she's got it. Now we move the wood away at the same time. That's it, she's free. Free of the wood and she's in her enclosure. So now we can, all we want to do is just get her feet off the edge. And there you go. So we went from one little point there where she turned around and she just tested the brush. She weren't sure whether we meant her any harm or not. So she literally just tested it. And then once she, once she realized we weren't out to do her any real damage, she settled down. Still a little bit cautious. But you can see by moving her like the way we just have, that's far less intrusive than having to catch her up in a catch cup and things like that. So once you start feeling more comfortable, this is the ideal way in which to move your spiders around. Right, what we got now? Oh, this is a this is a real feisty one. Now, before you attempt anything like one of these spiders doing it the way we're doing it now, you need to be very, very comfortable with what you're doing. Now, all of these spiders, when we're doing it this way, they can go any which way. So it's important that we have, we have things covered and we know where we're at and what we're doing. Now this is a Stromatopelma calciatum or the feather leg baboon. Now this, this particular spider have been given the envious reputation of having probably one of the worst bites in, um, in the hobby. They have a very, very powerful, strong bite. So we have to treat them accordingly. They are also very, very quick. And they are not shy when it comes to defending themselves. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put that around like so. We're going to bring our tub over because hopefully we're going to walk this one out as well. Um, we'll see how she responds first. I'm just going to get rid of some of this rubbish because we don't want to be fighting with our spider. So what I'm going to do now, now you, you can see, I don't know if you can see down in here. It's a bit dark, but we can see it. Yeah, I need to tilt that a little bit. That's it. So you can see that the webbing on the, on the side here where my brush is has joined the wood to the glass. And what we want is to be able to pull this piece of wood back. Very important we take our time. And what we're going to do now is we're going to get her to try and walk up the glass. Nice and gently. Here she comes. Now this one has been fasting. She's got a very small abdomen. So she really does need feeding up. Here she comes. She's got a very small abdomen. There you go. And she's just put herself in there nice and easy. And she, I'm just seeing if she wants a bit of a drink. She does. 
All right, so what we're going to do, we are going to get it to come up to the bowl. We're going to show the water bowl. No, she's not. She will find it. She has a beautiful colouring. As you can see, her abdomen is really small. And she is very old. She is an old spider. So we will see how, how she goes. But we can keep an eye on her nice and easy in here as well. Alright, so that's her in. Now you notice there we didn't get any fret displays or anything from her. Although she's a little bit on the a little bit on the skinny side where she's been fasting, we're not quite sure whether why she's actually decided to do that now. It could just be age. You know, it it could be the fact that everything's been up in the air and mucking about all the time. It's um likely to have upset her as well. Where, um, well, there goes me hisses. That's where you were. Uh, you little devils. It's funny. I left the lid off the hisses. I did the other day when I was busy feeding the other bits. Right, let's get this one done. This is another Metallica. Yeah. So, we'll get this one in here. So, it'd be, it'd be nice. I'm going to try and get this one out on the piece of wood. Now it's a funny thing, but one of our Metallicas is very light sensitive, and most of them aren't. Most of them are quite happy, but I think this one might be the light sensitive one. So what we're going to do, we're going to do the same again, we're going to get the come up. You know it says, no threat posture. Nice and gently, let her feel the edge. It's not a problem if she's gone over there. It's all right, it's fine. I'd rather she didn't go underneath. All right, let me get you back up there. Yeah, here she comes. And that's how we use the whole of the brush and just bring her in. She's like, no, I don't want to go in there. There we go. Nice and gently does it. And she's in. You see, these P Metallicas are just puppies, really. Now you'd have remembered when we done our video recently about the uh, your first old world spiders, and as you've seen here, handled in the correct way, these guys aren't that bad. Not that bad at all. Right, what we got? Two left. Let's get cracking. Dun dun dun, two left. What we got left in here? Oh, another pink toe. This is a another versicolor. So we'll put that on there like so. Uh, 
esto. Uh, this one's malted out as well. Right, so we can just literally just pull these guys out. Yeah, she is hiding in there with her malt. So we get her to come backwards. There we go. Isn't she wonderful? Just gonna put her over here. Nice and easy. There's our malt. That's cool. So we can mark down on our paperwork. You're not going anywhere, come on. There we go. Down you go. Lovely. Right. I believe that leaves us one more to do. Our first initial clip makes them jump a little bit, but they'll soon get used to that. Right, what we got left? What we got left? What we got in here? A couple more hisses. Oh, we got oh, an. Mr. We got another Metallica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you saw down there. You didn't see nothing. Mm -hmm. Nothing. To, nothing to see here. <gasps> nothing to see here, camera lady. <laughs> nothing to see here. Go end up in serious trouble. <laughs> right, last one. Another Metallica. So what's this? This has got to be the third Metallica, I believe. So, and they've all been really, really good. So is this one going to be the odd one out? I'll put that on there. There we go. Right. Let's see if we can't get this one out on the bit of wood. That would be nice. Just so you guys get to really see. Here we go. What you have to be careful of when you do it like this is that they just walk straight off the bit of wood, you see? <laughs> they don't want to play ball. Right, okay. So we're going to put this over here. I don't actually want you to come out that way. All right. Put that there. We're going to now try and get it to come up. That's it. Now we've made contact. Yeah, so we. Maintaining contact. You notice we're not poking her. We're just keeping it nice and steady. She is completely in the open now because she's got clean glass either side now. So she is going to feel really th quite threatened. She's facing the wrong way. I'm gonna we now just want to go around the back. There we go. Using the whole of the brush again, and in she goes. There we go. <laughs> there she is. Isn't she beautiful? Right, so with then, I don't know how long that's actually taken, probably a bit longer than it should have done. Now, um, 
normally when we do this we probably would have whacked through them in probably 10 or 15 minutes i would imagine we've probably been rolling for about half an hour 45 minutes it's been a bit longer but it's been fun we've enjoyed it and also as well i think hopefully once again we've shown that um with considerate gentle handling these spiders really aren't that bad now we've managed to move three metallicas two martinique pink toes one avic avic um, one feather leg baboon uh, one riffalata and a panama blonde now all of the pokies can be a little temperamental but as we've shown use that correct you know the correct handling with the brush it's most important how you use the brush we use the length of the brush to actually manipulate most of what we've done I hardly at all did we use the front of the brush apart from maybe on this last one you notice when we started because she was tucked in we push the brush into the front of her and then we can just gradually tickle her out a little bit and then once we get her there we start using the whole of the brush and that's how we move them around um, the only thing that really gave a little bit of a test was the Panama Blonde, um, the Samopaeus, which is quite an unusual thing really, but they can be quite strong. So always, always treat them as individuals as you should all of these spiders. You know, they're all individuals. Now we've got many, many more to do exactly like this and we will crack them out later on. Um, but hopefully we can get them in these, we can keep an eye on them, get them down. We need to concentrate a little bit on our feather leg baboon she recently actually it hasn't been that long since she last had a sack uh, maybe about two months or so since she last had a sack maybe three months now i think um, and she's not really eaten much ever since so it could be the fact that she's getting near her end she is quite old we've had her for i think six years now um and we tend to when we're breeding we tend to do them every other year or so so we're not actually hitting them too hard um, and this is why we keep a number of different ones of the same species so that we can rest them breed them rest them that's the way to go so i think um, i hope you enjoyed that i mean it was a bit of fun we enjoyed it and um yeah any questions put them down in the comments don't forget hit the like button if you would please it really does help us out and um yeah now interesting to see what you've all got to say Really cool. Right then, don't forget, Sunday show, we're at Brighton. Do come over. We will have many, many spiders up for sale. Um, also, all of our merch and everything else. It should be a really great day. So do, if you go to the show, please come over, say hello. Even if we're really busy, just shout at us. We'll shout back. It'll be lovely to see you all. Right then, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spider. And I'll see you soon, guys.